found some uh, an iron. It looks like I guess human remains in there. So. Yeah. Guys, I don't know what I just found, but I am a little freaked out right now. What the heck is this, guys? Dude, I just found a message in a bottle. Today I'm going to be covering some of the weirdest finds that I've found while scuba diving in the rivers. And uh, this is going to be pretty interesting, so let's jump right in. Oh yeah. So starting off, I'm gonna show you guys one of the weirdest finds I found while scuba diving in Atlanta, Georgia. Check this thing out. All right guys, just got in the water. Everybody's getting out. And hopefully we can find something cool. Let's All right guys, at this point, I found this urn under the water and I don't think it really registered what I found. I just kind of picked it up. And after I was looking at it more, I was like kind of in shock that I found this urn with potential human remains in it. So I just set it over by the rocks. But I wasn't even talking, I didn't even know what to say. So that was kind of crazy and a little creepy, I'm not going to lie. And a weird find. Oh, no. I don't know if I should take that out of the river or not. Is there stuff in there? Still? Yeah. Oh, dude. I found some, uh, an urn with, it looks like, I guess, human remains in there. So I'm not really sure the best thing to do with this. Probably place it back in the river. Yeah, maybe we'll show the officer first and see what they want to do. Because yeah. I don't want to leave metal in the river, but... They're supposed to dump the person in the river, not, yeah, not, the urn. not the urn, so. Now, the most weird thing, as you guys can see, is this urn. And it appears to still have human remains or dirt and mud. I don't know exactly what. We're gonna ask the police their thoughts on this as well. I might go put it back in the river. I really don't wanna do that because I don't like polluting the river, but I don't think that's supposed to really be in there. You're supposed to dump it in there. All right, guys, so let's go give the police a call and see what they have to say about all this stuff. It's crazy. That's, that's the other one. And then we got this urn, and I wasn't sure what to do, so I figured we'd ask your opinion. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's a kind of a mixture of ashes and mud and stuff, but. I uh, think if, would you find it open like that? I mean, it was like on its side, kind of. Like with no lid? Yeah. Okay. So. I would probably put it back. Put it back. Somebody yeah. may have put it there intentionally. For a reason. Um, because it's one of their loved ones. So this seems like a nice, peaceful kind of area, you know, on the beach, a little ways. We're not under the bridge, so it's kind of like a nice spot. Yes. I guess we'll put right in here. So we're gonna put it back and just, you know, pray that they continue pray to that rest peacefully. They continue and continue to rest peacefully. So that was definitely a weird find I did not expect to come across. Another weird thing I often find while diving is different types of bones. So you guys check this video out and comment what you guys think these bones are. I am out in the beautiful Jenny Springs in Florida and I'm so excited. This water is just so crystal clear. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. weirdest find was definitely this bone. Now this thing is gnarly. I mean, it, it looks really old. Okay, so we're about to get in that water, find some good stuff. It's a little cold today, but uh, I am excited. I got a good feeling. We're gonna find some awesome stuff. Guys, I don't know what I just found, but it looked exactly like a human kneecap. I am a little freaked out right now. We're gonna go back on shore and check it out. Guys, the freakiest thing for me, I came across this knee bone, and this kind of scared the crap out of me because, I mean, this thing looks big. It looks, it looked human to me. The closer I look at it now, I don't think it is. I mean, look how clean cut the edges are. If it is, I mean, that's like some serial killer stuff. Um, but I don't know, you guys tell me, I'm not a doctor. What do you think, Jeremy? Yeah. <laughs> it smells bad. It smells like a good eating right there. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nasty. But you can see it. Oh, the slice marks all over it. Yeah, there's slice looking. marks all over it. We, he, oh God. 
I bet it's smelling amazing. It smells bad. So, uh, I don't know, human, you guys let me know in the comments because I really don't know. Now this next video I'm going to show you guys is actually, I still don't really know what it is. I was out searching the woods and I came across this strange bag on the ground, so check this video out. What the heck is this thing? Guys, look, it looks like a freaking, it looks like a coconut wrapped up in a weird red bag. This thing is so weird, should I touch it? I feel like I shouldn't. What the heck is this, guys? Ugh. Why are there coconuts in this thing? It looks like there's, it feels like there's something else in there. Let's, let's try to dump it out. Oh wow, there's a bunch of ants. What the heck? Oh, it smells so bad. <sighs> if you guys could smell what I'm smelling, that'll make you throw up. <laughs> Ugh. What is in there? There's a bag in there. Ugh. Guys, what do you think this stuff is? I don't want to touch it. A bunch of little baggies. Coconut. That is disgusting and weird. So that was definitely weird guys. Another strange thing we find while scuba diving is like witch jars, voodoo items, sometimes even like messages in a bottle. So check out this, this is pretty weird. <laughs> and guys, you will not believe it, but I found a genuine message in a bottle. <laughs> Dude, I just found a message in a bottle. Oh shit, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That is crazy. Message in a bottle. I wonder what it says. Oh! My favorite bottle, though, is this message, message in, in a bottle. bottle. <laughs> you gotta play the song. I know. <laughs> Might get a copyright claim. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna try to see what's written on this message here shortly. Hopefully I can show you that guys here in just a minute. I have this message in a bottle that I'm gonna try to attempt to open up and read what's on the message. Who knows what it could be? So I don't think that I'm gonna be able to pull it out because it's still a little wet. I'm gonna have to break the glass. So we're about to do that. <laughs> Hopefully I don't hurt myself. There's a lot of rocks in here, but you can see the message in the bottle is right in there. And so let's bust this open and read what it says. That was easy. All right, now let's see what it looks like. Oh, now I don't want to cut myself. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of pull just the paper out. This thing is just really wet and nasty and just falling apart. All right guys, so I have the pieces pretty much put together as best as I could. And it looks like there's a date, 040121. So it was actually thrown in the water not that long ago. And a lot of it's missing. From what I can read, it's some letter to someone named Patrick. And I think it's some type of love letter. I'm not gonna go too deep because that is pretty personal, I believe. So, but that was really interesting to find. You gotta wonder what they were thinking to throw this in the river. But I'm cool I could get that out and I'll throw away all this glass and throw away this letter. So that was really cool guys. I've never found a message in a bottle before. That was definitely interesting. I don't know exactly why someone would throw a love letter in a message in a bottle in the river unless they maybe wanted to get something off their chest. I don't know. If you have any theories, leave those in the comments. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. So the next weird item that I found was something I really did not expect to find because it was so heavy and awkward and kind of creepy. So check this out. <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because I think I just found a grave marker. I'm trying to find Britain. This is pretty freaky. Dude, What'd you get? I think I found one that's freaking two people in gigantic. And it's like, what? it's pretty recent, dude. It's big over here. 
Can oh, I, I, go get I, it? I can't even get I think I need your help to get it. Okay, here, let me come over there. And the current's bad, but... Dude, it's scary, man. I didn't know what the thing was. I turned it over. I was like, oh my god, really? <laughs> dude. Oh my god. I think we're going to have to call... Dude, I, it's, you have to see it. All right, here. I don't know. We're probably going to have to pull it over there to the, the ramp on the Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Freaking grave marker, man. The whole thing. It's like two people, dude. Yeah, it is. Must be a husband and wife. It's a whole. It's the whole thing, man. That is spooky, man. Dude. Guys, we just got out of the water, as you all saw. It was a struggle, but I came across this grave marker. And it has two names on it, one that has a death date, but this one doesn't have a death date, so I don't know how, how old would that be, 70, 65, 75, 85, in the 80s I think, right? Yeah. So the, the, one of these people still could be alive, and we don't know, this could be stolen. This is like a legit one, these are not cheap, guys. Seriously. It's ridiculous, man. I got chills for real, man, when I saw that. I thought it was a piece of like, I thought it was like either a safe door or like, just a big panel, and I flipped it over, and it was a grave marker. Can I do for you guys? How How's it going? Sure. Found that in the river. Okay. We thought we'd give you guys a call and turn it into you guys. You don't want it. It's like a hole. I mean, that's like that's like someone's grave. Like uh, that's like from the cemetery. I understand. Well, what do you think we should do with it? I don't. I, mean, I wouldn't feel right. Back. That needs to go back to the property. That needs to go back to the. To I wouldn't feel like real. Y'all should really take that because last time I found one of those, y'all took it and y'all actually got it back to the owner because it was stolen. So I mean, I don't know if, if that's the issue or what, but I mean that needs to go back to the family. In my personal opinion. Was there any way to look up? I mean, can you contact them somehow? I don't want to just leave it here yeah, like, like it's garbage. You that's know? like that could have been stolen. Man. I mean, and it costs a lot of money to it get those. It could have been, but it could have not have been. It could have been dumped by the people at the grave. It's, it's you know, really heavy. They may have too. replaced it. So. It's very heavy. One of those people just, just might still be alive. I'm yeah, not that's sure. That's what I was gonna look. Betty M. Star. I've never known them to have serial numbers on them. But oh really? Have. Okay. You guys can go. Thank you very much. It's really heavy. So as you guys can see, I have found some pretty weird and sometimes creepy items out exploring, but it's always a new adventure, it's always a fun day. And if you guys enjoy this type of content and wanna help support me, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, leave a like, leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you wanna help support me, there's some other ways in the description below that you can do that. And uh, I have many, many more adventures planned in the future, so you guys are not gonna to wanna to miss those. So until then, I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to help support me and what I do every week, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Oh yeah.